Can you shed some light on what do you think that for India is cycling or the bicycle a mode for the past or a mode of the future? Uh, I think it is both. It has been something for the past, and well, you still have the tradition of cycling over here, and and you should restore it, but also innovate it. And uh, for India, it's maybe more easy to change than for other countries like the United States where also cycling will become a mode of transport for the future but they do not have city bikes for example which you have but you need to innovate you need to to have a much better variety of bicycles and bicycle proficients and you need to have cycling in your policies well I know there is now more and more commitment but the implementation is still uh, staying behind but I think, and it is not especially for India, but of, of course since you have the tradition you should take uh, advantage of it. But worldwide you see everywhere that cycling is booming. We have a big crisis, but cycling is booming. Everywhere you see that people, uh, they, they are not waiting for the provisions. They want to have a good bike, a proper bike, for daily transport. Uh, so, uh, there is no reason to think that it should not happen also. The main reason why we have set up this embassy and why I'm involved in that is that if you want to create a cycling culture, you need the involvement of, of people, of civil society, you need the involvement of governments for facilities, and you need the involvement of the private sector, because they contribute a lot with bicycles and parking systems and with all kinds of expertise. So that's what we now uh, uh, do in the Netherlands to, to uh, create one platform uh, and we say to the world we have a lot of experience, we have a lot of expertise, we have high quality, we have a lot of technology yeah. standards, we want to partner with you, we want to uh, exchange, we want to cooperate together and to make the world, well, a cycling world. I think what Rulof has not said and I would like to add uh, is that uh, his personal commitment to cycling has been very long standing. He is recognized as the, you know, like a premier cycling ambassador by the Velocity Conference last time. Yeah. And uh, I think he's proven that people who work for uh, pushing cycling, for promoting cycling, are fun people. 